to the line tonight. Yeah, I, I thought uh, you know it's probably our fourth game uh, together as a line, and I think that we, um, you know, not just tonight we've had good games. It's just uh, you know we're only getting one out of the you know last couple of games, but at least it's coming. I mean, uh, it's tough tonight because uh, we felt we put in a good effort, but just didn't get uh, the rewards again. Sammy, how are you feeling after that hit? A little woozy, to be honest with you, but uh, you know, I'll see how I feel the rest of the day here tonight and stuff. Cause yeah, you know, I think I don't know. I haven't seen the replay. Look like I felt like it just got in my head. So I don't know. But uh, a little woozy. You mean against the boards? Cause it looked like you got rubbed out against the yeah, there. Yeah, I think I was looking kind of behind me for a pass to make, and I think he closed me off, but he only got most of my head. So that's what it felt like. I haven't seen it. So what do you think of going back into the room? Or? Well, no, cause I, I felt okay. I just felt a little bit. A little winded kind of thing, so nothing bad right now. Anytime you get, you know, it looked like you had some was speed. It, was it just a situation where you were like, all right, just give it a second, take a deep breath, and see where you are? Yeah, that's all I want to do is make sure I just gather my thoughts, take it, you know, get get the, the rest I needed for a minute there, and uh, you know, my th everything came back together fine. So, uh, like I said, just it's more modern. I don't think watch the rest of the day here, see how I feel because it, you know, it was a little bit shaken up. That looked like about the the fastest you've been this season down the wing on that play. You yeah, well, I, I, I came right off now. the bench, went all the way behind the net, so I, I was able to get all the speed I can get. And uh, I seen two guys in the slot, so I just turned my turn to look, make a play, and I, he closed me off, and I think he just got my head. I, like I said, I haven't seen it. Well, just, just, you know, uh, just a little daze, you know, one did my head, I haven't got a headache yet or anything like that, just a little daze and, you know, I think just getting your bell rung a bit, you know, so I, I don't think it's anything to worry about right now. So. Yeah, I mean, at a time like that, we're down one nothing. It's uh, never yeah, missed. Yeah, well, as long as you only provide one goal, they like, talk a little bit about just the work that led up to that second first goal there, kind of sparked you guys and got back in. Well, we just we would want to play with energy. Um, you know, our line uh, is good at that, getting it deep, uh, creating a good cycle, protecting the puck, and then creating chances just through hard work. And, and um, Pisi uh, created a really good screen there. I mean, you can credit the goal uh, largely. A lot to him. It was a great shot, but, uh, but Fleur didn't see it. You guys obviously had great chemistry with Marshawn on that line. You starting to feel the same chemistry with, with Pye now as well? Yeah, um, you know, Pye's uh extremely good player as well. And, um, uh, you know, he's, he's been working hard to get back. Uh, it's tough when, when uh, you know, to kind of be in and out and, and, and you know, have that uh, consistency. Um, so, we, you know, we, we just try to keep our game simple. And uh, a game like this, you need momentum from a line like, uh, like ours. So... Um, the Florence and Pies did a great job at uh, protecting the puck and, and, and being strong on it and, and uh, really being hard in front of the net. At the end of your fight, the United, did he almost catch you in the hand with the skate? At the end? I didn't see that. It looked, um, like, maybe, he looked yeah. like he jerked back quick like, yeah, the, at the very end after it was being broken up. Possibly, I didn't see it. Unfortunately, you're not going to win every game in this league, and um, I think there's a lot of things, a lot of positive things we can take from that game. You know, we had a, a lot, awful lot of chances, um, and we played hard for, for the majority of the game. So, like I said, you know, sometimes uh, uh, you know, break's going to go here and there for the other team, and, and they played well, you know, also. So, um, we just have to uh, hold our heads high, take the positives, and, and go back to work. We have two big games coming up back to back. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we went through before, so it's a big series. With yeah, they're, they're on our heels right now and they're playing really well. I've been watching their games a little bit and they're playing really well. Uh, so it's not going to be easy back to back. We played a lot of games. Um, you know, we're yeah, just going to have to yeah. regroup here and um, not hang our heads, just uh, continue pretty much what we finished off Opportunities, and I think uh, it'd be nice to produce a little more, you know, but I think. Uh, Four games, I think it's just uh, it's gone pretty well. You know, it's uh, disappointing that uh, tonight uh, we're on the ice for that uh, game winning goal. You know, but uh, things happen. But overall, I think uh, we're doing well. Are you comfortable on your off wing? 
Yeah, I think uh, every game get more and more, you know. Uh, still sometimes that phase has to get tendency to go to the right side, but uh, it's, uh, they just remind me. But during the play, you know, uh, you kind of fill in for everybody, and it's, uh, it's every game I get more used to it, and I feel, feel pretty comfortable over there. Michael, you guys are playing one of the DC Savage down there. Yeah, I don't even know what happened. He passed the puck to me in, in the middle, there and uh, we got it, and then we were moving our hand, and the next thing you know, there was a little whistle. And, uh, Said he uh, just took a hit, you know, and uh, came back and he's fine, you know, and uh, kind of gave us a little more, tried to, try to get another, another go, you know, as we were getting chances, and uh, said he's a tough character, and he came right back. Tough game to lose. You had the momentum after the two goals in 13 seconds, and then Pittsburgh just scores. You're, you're fighting an uphill battle the whole game. Yeah, uh, you know, I think uh, we generated lots of that, you know, uh, in front of the net. We were uh, trying to get those rebounds, and they did a good job, you know, of boxing us out. And, Hearing those pucks, and uh, they're a good team on the other side. And uh, we knew it wasn't going to be easy, but uh, I think we battled right to the end. And uh, there's a lot of good things that we did. You trying to go through Michaelic's legs on that shot? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just uh, coming out of the wing, you know, uh, trying to use him as a screen. And, and uh, Flurry, uh, when, he, when he sees the puck most times, he's going to make that save. And I was just trying to use the defense as a screen. Michael, what's your confidence level like going now? Season. Feel good, you know. Uh, ever since first part of the season, you know, I uh, want to get off to a good start. Sometimes I uh, have a tendency to start off slow, and this year I came into camp, you know, want to do that. And I think uh, so far I've done that, and I just want to make sure I stay consistent for the whole season. Yeah, he just, uh, we just found out he went to the hospital, and uh, he's got a broken nose, so they were just uh, making sure they were checking up uh, on everything. and. Right now, that's uh, that's what we've uh, found out from uh, from them uh, checking him out. He's got the broken nose. Losing him, you're already down two of your veteran defensemen. You talk about the way the way the other guys stepped up, and they're obviously big numbers minutes-wise for Jar and Sideberg and Boychek in particular. Yeah, you know, it's a, you know we got to down to five, and obviously, like you say, we're getting a little young back there. But uh, I thought the guys handled it well, you know, and. Uh, again, we were in the game right till the end, and uh, uh, those guys uh, did a good job of holding the fort. And, uh, so, you know, I, I don't think we uh, we have any reason to be disappointed in the, in our back end the way they handled that uh, situation. Do you do anything differently when you're down, man? Like that, try to keep shift shot or patience yourselves or anything like that. Well, you know, you're, you're trying to keep your uh, obviously your matchups as much as you can against some of the top players, but then you got to. You got to put your faith in, in the players to, to do the job whenever uh, uh, that happens as well. It's like uh, you've got what you've got, and then you put faith in them. And uh, sometimes that's a good thing because the players, that's what they want to feel. They want to feel that you got confidence in them to put them in certain situations that they uh, haven't always been in. And I think, like I said, I thought our guys, our young guys, responded well to that. At the end there, did they call that offsides, or was it a hand pass? I think they called it a hand pass. So. Are you going to look at that uh, that goal? Was it kicked in? I know it's well, you take yeah, it. I just, he just he turned his foot. I guess the, the kicking motion for them, the foot has to you know, kind of leave the ice, and uh, it's got to be a kicking motion. And uh, I mean, they reviewed it, and, and you have to respect that. There's going to be no argument from, from our side of it. If they review it and they feel it's a goal, it's a goal. Coach, uh, obviously, considering the history, how nervous is everybody when you see Savvy there on the ground? Well, I, I didn't see him till uh, you know, till he was down and uh, stayed down because I, I looked at the pass. He made a pass and it turned into a, it looked like a scoring chance. And then the first thing you know, he was down and I, I didn't uh, really see the hit, but uh, and I haven't had a chance to review it either. And, uh, but from what I'm told, it was there was nothing wrong. It was just a clean hit. He's off balance and uh, fell down a little bit, but he seems to be fine. But if you, if you look at the way that the first the, the rider line contributed and had all those chances and then uh, Pai is on the ice for that one goal, maybe it's fair to say that if you had that kind of push from from all four lines, that, that maybe it would be in your favor? Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's just, you know, when you lose a game, you're going to look for reasons. To, and you're right, dude. I mean, uh, you know, I thought uh, Savvy's line again tonight, I think they had about 17 shots and they created a lot of chances. And, you know, uh, unfortunately, Ber Bergie's line has been a good line for us. And tonight, I don't think they hurt us, but they, they didn't get much offensively done. And, uh, 
Uh, but at the same time, Campbell's line was very good tonight. I, I thought the line that struggled a lot was Kretschy's line. They really had a tough time tonight. And, uh, you know, those guys uh, that, that are on that line uh, are guys that can produce for us. So, you know, that's uh, one of those nights where, uh, you know, we could have used them. And they uh, certainly uh, have seen better nights from those guys.